Scotland, and Tediluvian Islands. To my dear audience, I have an immense pleasure to transmit and dedicate myself to present to you all Scotland Part 1, and more precisely, the Antediluvian Islands. Access during the summer lockdown 2020, and as impossible as it might have seemed to travel, I am keen that I could reach Scotland. My pleasure to narrate a few anecdotes. To begin with, Scotland go for Scotia, Princess Scotia, originally called Princess Mary Tatten, daughter of Pharaoh Echenathan, known for his peculiar hermaphroditism and elongated skull, and his queen Nefertiti. As the princess went to Ireland in political exile with her Greek husband, I think a reference for Scotland as ancient Greece, read William Cummins Beaumont, where she became Princess Scotia, marrying the Greek Scottish Gaetolos, or Goidel Glass in Gaelic. The founder of the Scots and Gaels, remember Ireland as also ancient Phoenicia. That is a lot of red pills, but for the places, the names, you will find confusing after researching it. Scotia, in reference to the relation Britain to Ireland and Scotland have with this Egypt, as also being itself an ancient Egypt, petrified, the spine of Albion as ancient Nile. Princess Scotia's grave, where she rests, is in the glen of Scotia in Ireland, county of Kerry. You will be surprised of the connection that will be presented in the part two of Scotland. That will concern those amazing theories, as with some evidences also for the architecture, Edinburgh, for example, where I also took footage as Edinburgh, and more will be presented in the part two. The part one will try to give a new eye to geology, as you should question everything. It is important that you focus on my footage, but also on the other sources that I provide. This is a compendium of my own archaeological files, added by my friend's exploration and other sources, to show you more, to also back up the theories that I present as usual. Enjoy the ride. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. In La Quiche, Hugo Samgai. Welcome to Hugo's new video. Today he's going to explore a section of alternative history that has been intentionally hidden from us. We have been conditioned to believe what we are taught or told by historians. If you believe something, it means you've stopped investigating or questioning it. It means any research or thought you'd once intended to put into it has ended. Belief is the end of thought. Centuries of lies have been compounded and we are expected to believe that these so-called historical facts are set hard and fast in stone. These walls of illusion are slowly being chipped away. again. Um, today we see uh, Scotland is also uh, in Italian Scotia uh, and an elongated skull of Akhenaten. Uh, you can see some uh, reference with the world as for the Paracas in South America and more giant's bones have been hidden, giant's remains have been hidden like the giant's remain of uh, the red haired red hair giants. Uh, hermaphroditism and traits of Akhenaten. You're going to see some reference with the old world, for example, some Phoenician depictions that I will show you. I also got a lot of hybrids and creatures that I will make an amazing video. And that is going to be for a um, thousand picture that I will share. That's why I do long video because it's amazing. Uh, content 
So as today you will see a lot of theories that question geology and some are also from other channel and my friends and uh, this one uh, interesting is wise up because it's a bit different than the megalith group in YouTube and you you can see some actually amazing stuff so welcome to a new video and uh, my pleasure to be with you once again Maha there in Scotland Macdui mountain and this is what you see to Scotland probably a lot of it's buried under the mountains you read Cummins Beaumont, Macdari, G. Lawrence and you have uh, the riddles of prehistoric Britain just before your eyes Hugo some guy in Scotland for Rose. your pleasure Rose, 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 Rose. So very interesting uh, to see that together. So we don't know if it's uh, really a gene, uh, if he just had uh, just maybe a big head. Um, but for Nefertiti and Akhenaten, we can speculate. Um, and so, so on, the Pope doesn't have a big head, but he will, he will basically um, fake, you know. Like also the fish people, if you know that. And um, like her, we don't know if it's just uh, to fake, you know, to pretend, or all of those which are real. So very interesting indeed, guys. Welcome to a new video. And uh, right now it's going to be fully, amazingly done in the art of the way. So as you can see, I can attend, big head, never pity, and here, Princess Kocha, Princess Kocha, flying with um, her brother, uh, no, her husband, sorry, Gaetolos. So the husband Gaetolos, Greek, Scottish Greek, read Cummins Beaumont, and uh, and here you go. So let's go. Welcome to a big flow of information for you guys.
So that's for uh, Indonesia. Uh, very, very uh, forgotten in history, the Moluccans history. Shout out to my friend Chris. And uh, you can see some carving here, some beautiful ancient carving, maybe been recalled. Um, or not. So basically amazing. Here we can find in uh, Turkey also a sculpture. We are not yet to the petrified creature. This one is more odd because we don't know if it's a sculpture or petrified because uh, sometimes you find petrified creatures and all of that so we will see together in this video this is an interrogation point that one. I don't really know it's hard to tell sometimes you need to be there you need to take more side of it Shout out to my friend Astrid, and uh, she repaired some uh, fortification and, uh, in the world, and that's the goal of today. We're gonna see this is actually built very nicely done, Astrid. Same person who done my introduction voice. So thank you, Astrid, for made me such a beautiful introduction at the beginning of my videos. So check this out, and I also made a video in French, so if you speak French you can find the same video of 3 hours in French. Now we have some golems, you need to see the Bible, read the Bible, golems are fallen angels, and uh, they are just spectacular. links with Egypt and Ireland we're gonna get to that in that video hermetic sciences Egypt and Ireland Shakana is everywhere. This is Petra, and you can see from aerial views that it's not what we told. I explained that in my previous video. Um, and uh, Petra from above, and you can see it's actually a very older structure and everything is buried under the sand. If you dig, you find a lot. Some fortification, yes, that is built.
In this video you will learn that petrification occurs in a fascinating way. You can find some wood, some... So let's go to wise up theory right now. I think you need to see this. Shout out to his channel still. A lot of work down there. Have you ever heard of geopolymer and uh, nothing new under the sand? Then check this out, I will answer the megalith section. So was this metal what it was in the first place? That's the island of I Brazil lost. Remember that also Doggerland was there, more land was there, and more islands that sunk. Interesting one, could it be this time a petrified reptilian creature something like that um, even humanoid like I don't see that as a creature I see like the, the nose fascinating stuff you can see a lot of stuff like that in uh, the forest of Fontainebleau in France petrified creature Bruno Teste uh, done a lot of pictures and uh, there will need to be a video from all the pictures they took in this forest but this is a nice nice one um, new eye to geology always so where when it, where is the petrified trees where is the petrified uh, creatures you can use your own mind this is for Scotland you can see those circles, you're gonna see more later. Peruvian, this is in Peru. Geology where you are. Is this explained by geology too?
In this video you will see a lot of photos from Alan H. Anderson, my friend, my Scottish friend. So this part is petrified wood on the Fife coast of Scotland. It reminds me of Petra, of the picture that I took in Petra. Now we are in New Zealand. Indonesia again. Shout out to Chris, my friend.
Before there were more lands, Dogger land. Tsunami, shout out to my Indian friend, Gnostic human, for this tsunami uh, evidence. But still, I don't trust no timelines. Something is wrong with the size. Very interesting one, you can see it's actually maybe a sculpture, we don't really know, but um, it's a nose and a statue maybe in the, in the built construction. Again in Peru, another Peruvian pyramid. Scotland as ancient Greece, Iona Argadia.
link with Morocco. So you do see here actually very interesting because we're gonna focus on this structure. Two li looks like Sphinx and has been petrified on the coast, everything petrified from Atlantean times, ancient Egypt, etc. And uh, so amazing, guys. I mean, uh, you need to look at with a new eye for this. And these two structures are exactly the same, similar. That's why we say this. Let's go. This is in Scotland still. Petrified, maybe creature this time. Left to speculate. Thank you, Alan, for some great images. This is, could be another Sphinx in the snowy Scotland. I mean, look at this. Thank you. 
Isn't that uh, like obvious? Edemba Ancient depictions of um, hybrids and also hermaphroditism. If he was, she was a male. Sometimes males had uh, female bodies.
There we can clearly see, like also, we can see some walls in uh, the Mount Everest and Kailash, uh, this area in the Himalayas. But here we can see also some wall, ancient wall. It's actually amazing, like an ancient murai. All of this is built Soon I make a video on America Now Scotland is in chain. You can see Scotland is in chain. The unicorn of Scotland is in chain. Skitia. So for these guys, it's a vast joke, right? Like, they never did such a thing in the 17th century, 16th century. They just found it. 
they found it in ruins and they make it nice again you see that what I mean that will make it more plausible so you will see later a photo of ruins and I will make a video about America very soon and more You see now what I'm talking about when I say uh, ruins that have been found. I will make special video about this subject because it's rather interesting to see that, you know, what will be um, the cause of it? Well, cataclysm. And then they needed to go seek refuge. And uh, when they found it, you see these little people of a huge scale, they just repaired it. That's how it goes. It's called appropriation. The pyramids of the Wales in South England. England is full of pyramids. You will see some pictures that I took in the car going there in the summer. Dariata Purple
We are already seeing that geology is just not totally explained, you know, like this wall, I think, uh, in Russia. And uh, it's totally built, it's like this pyramid, you know. Everything is totally built. Totally, totally built. Geology does not explain such things. That explains it a bit more and takes out the evolution and millions of years bullshit. That was the goal of it. We wanted to go camping and explore Magdui and climb it. Second highest mountain in Great Britain, Scotland included. We started from Braemar and we made it to Magdui, Ben Magdui. Them slow yeah. before he speak his soup be spoke Whip. and you thought he was cute before look at this peacock tell me he's broke Whip. and i know you ain't in the all that what you saying boss well you like scotland mate yeah you like scotland Whip. the dog is gone boss well old dog
Scotland. Beautiful Scotland. Lodge of Freemasonry in Scotland are plenty, but the architecture is rather nice, coming in part 2 of Scotland with Hugo Sangai. And now we are gone for the most interesting part, which is the archaeology file, actually. So stay with us. Stay with me. So that's how fast the weather changed. Weather changing in Scotland is the same as in the Netherlands sometimes. <laughs> now the sun.
Ah ouais, c'est sympa, je l'ai pris aussi en forêt. En photo, c'est pas Scotland Forest Right in front of you Okay Look how beautiful that all is. It's almost a shame to step on it, but also very enjoyable, you know, very soft. It's raining a lot here, so it makes everything so green and beautiful. Which is just nice, you know. Hello mate, hello mate, what are you saying mate, yeah, that's our little doggy, <laughs> hey doggy Now that's interesting rock formation right there. Hey, everything is covered.
I told you that we will go to the interesting part soon. So, this is a petrified construction built in ancient times of Atlantis. And you can find that the, the rock structure is rather odd to explain with just geology. So yeah, welcome back to the show. Is this is built? Then petrified. Look at the mountain. Now, let's go under the tree, some built rock formation, that's built from the Druids time, ancient times. Take it. Hello, boo. Hello, mate. Yeah. Elare, 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 Basso. He's living his best right, life. That's where we go up that path there.
Not all river was easy to cross, trust me. Ha <laughs> ha! 
want, I want it to look. Be careful with Boswell and the ticks. Come here now. Now. <laughs> the little now. dogs were just Wait. a puppy, you know. Maybe it was a bit hard for you. Popo Valley Popo Valley PA <laughs> Boswell <laughs> Yeah, 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 no worries. Of course. What do you think I'm doing since the beginning of the trip? What do you think I'm doing since the beginning? 
I have loads. I have loads, mate. Saying to my friend that I have a loads of file. Don't worry about that. I will take anything in picture. Pyramids of Scotland. Right there. I mean, not there, but there, obviously. Could it be? Don't really know. And that build too.
an ancient crater, there is a book of Comins Beaumont about that. now mate We should all be tied together as well. <laughs> oh, my legs go, my knees go, everything. In that little puff bag of mine. I should have. Somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, yeah. He wants to go explore this dog, it's crazy yeah, dog. Yeah, no, but he's a fool and then that's it, it's game, game over. Of course. He's just, he's too young. Too simple. Yeah.
marche les photos. And that becomes interesting there, guys. You can see here, built, 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 and petrified, all of it. And that's what is amazing, guys, because all of it is petrified and rebuilt. I mean, uh, just petrified. But built on top of course but okay, Scotland it's a pretty cool destination Scotland, it's a pretty cool destination for the summer. It's so beautiful. Amazing, so impressive. So no guys, this is rather interesting. All of it for me it built like and mostly the structure that you're gonna see in a minute is all built. Look at here, look here. Look right there. This one, this one, this one. And this one, this one, and this one, this one are the same size. So, what do you say? I say it's all built.
Don't fall there. Build stuff, guys. So guys, if you see what I see here, I can see a cyclopean wall of uh, times of Atlantis, and uh, that's England and Scotland. New eye for geology, I told ya. You go farther than this hill, you will have all the way behind the second hill. This is shelter though, this is what I'm thinking. Look, uh, I'll show you, show you where we are.
Best war I ever drank. Petrified wood. Perhaps a reference to magic, we can see uh, the altar fragrance, which is incense, reference to Wicca. Those are ancient tumulus. I am asking if those are natural or like some tomb of tombs or tumulus. 
We are there in Scotland. You can see petrified trees, but also buried stuff from uh, ancient times, uh, time of possible Egypt in England. And those little tumblers don't seem too natural for me. I wouldn't be surprised if there were storms or something in it. You know what I mean? There is nothing there. Maybe some bounce here. But those ones are cool. Alright, I made my point. So, the land of the Phoenician. Scotland. Really beautiful place. More than that, you have cotton, some sort of cotton here. And plenty of other stuff, really, that makes a real big difference. Very beautiful. Purple Valley, and then you can see the, the mount looks like tombs, and there is a lot more. See that one, one, and there you have more obvious ones. This one. Oh yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. So it's not even that it's cold, it's just we have so many midges. I have to I have to wear this to be protected, you know? We are doing a fire in Scotland. Catch me if you can. I mean in the islands. Catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. D'accord, on va prendre. Si, papi. Claro que si, papi. Il a fait beaucoup de goût. 
fire, man. Tuna na nina. Do a little bit more water now, I'd be like. Do the pasta. You want to drain it off or you want to hold it? Oh, yeah. Just need you to hold the light then. Janat 
ಅತಿ ವಿದ್ವಾನ ವಿಮೂಢ ಚೇತ ಯಾನಂಕ್ಷಿತ್ರ ಗತೇಹೋ ದೇಹೆ ಪಿಚಾನ್ಯ ಪುರುಷೋ ನಿವಿಷ್ಟ
all of this is a structure and that's been under under
now do you remember the circles that I was talking about? Now, uh, this is the mainstreams. They are very odd, and I made research on it, so enjoy.
Now you are in Scotland. Ecuador, Peru. Ecuador and Peru. A resemblance with the pigs of Scotland. The ant people. Special shout out to my friend Two Cones, uh, aka Elki. Peace to the gods.
Okay, so there we can see um, it's uh, amazing in uh, Antarctica, right? So, amazing picture. Uh, special shout out to Ellen Vatrova that is uh, bringing us so many so many good images is it uh, iron or is it blood Also, we like to say that um, the round table of Arthur was actually in Antarctica. So that was a country, very healthy temperature, and uh, that was uh, the Arctic 500 years ago. So it must have been an ice age 500 years ago. That's crazy, right? Uh, but we know the video. You know, you go some guy we take the red pill and the blue pill together, and the round table of Arthur was in Antarctica occupied by King Arthur what do you want more? The round table of Arthur, right there in front of your eyes. How many pyramids did we see today? Another special thanks to my friend Alan H. Anderson, who screenshot this amazing picture of Antarctica that he looks like he's petrified, and there was another city petrified um, from uh, ancient cataclysm, probably man made, that petrified the whole area. You can see this is built right there. Very important, my friend couldn't remember the exact documentary but we will try to find it back maybe make a video just about Antarctica but how can this be two perfect rounds how can it be the sun sank Antarctic come on guys this is an ancient city just like Sodom and Gomorrah when I was in Israel if it's the true Sodom and Gomorrah or it's just a petrified other city but come on guys look at that Alan is not just um, some guy that I stole the pictures of. He's a friend. Do you remember Black, Black and Mortimer? Well, Alan is a great friend of mine, Scottish friend, true Scott, and all the pictures that I share are with friends that I respect and value, but this is a special friend.
an ancient view of the world. Entrances to inner earth, Illyrian or Thracian wire. The devil throat. You go, some guy is the greatest. I am the greatest. <laughs> no, just uh, I, I love it. I love what I do. If you want to know some, this is actually not a construction but the the pyramid is carved out off of the mountain so in Petra all of this this was carved out so they need they needed to get rid of all the mountain about, uh, external to it can you realize this can you imagine so Petra is actually older then we are told, and that's great. It's like Disneyland, you go there and they light you. This was my picture from Petra, and you can see three pyramids right there. An ancient tree stump. Jordan is such an amazing country. Amazing. 
really fascinating country. A special treat for you guys. Right there is a special treat. Because, like, for real, like, for instance, those are live picture that I took in Petra. This is little Petra. Enjoy. This was the house of Lawrence of Arabia, those bricks. And this is a petrified somebody. <laughs> I don't know, it's very odd, this picture. Another one, another golem. The famous school of Wadi Rum. My friend Majid doesn't have it, more tourists, so if you can make it to Wadi Rum, if you can make it to Wadi Rum, actually contact me, and I will find you the best guide. And uh, he's needing more tourists. He's got the truck, everything, to make you have a, a very sick tour. Contact me. We saw many Sphinx, didn't we? Many Sphinx we, we see. But they were petrified. But let's see what a Sphinx looks like in our own architecture.
So right now guys I'm in the Netherlands and we can see this, this was uh, close to Zwolle and Omen and you can see this Sphinx in an old manor and uh, you can actually uh, enjoy this. So now guys we are in the last part, I mean this is the last part and I just need to show you those little clips of mine and after we're gonna do the last part of Scotland and we're done. That was a long video but all of the clues are there. Shout out to my friend Brucey, my longtime friend. Look at us, me with the bear and the doggies. <laughs> what some good times! is a cold shower. Yes, that's me ladies and gentlemen, that's just me right there, right there you go some guy in the flesh. sur le départ, voilà, on est à 1000 mètres d'altitude, on vient de là-bas en bas, là, tout là-bas, tout là, tout là, tout là, tout là. Thank you. 
Yes, Chibo, you can take the man out of the Alps, but you cannot take the Alps out of the man. Special thanks for him from coming out of Switzerland with my friend Rosie from London. And we were there enjoying Scotland. C'était la petite, hein, la petite pause musicale. <rire> Salut We are now in the end, guys. This is the end. Yeah, right on them. Who can't build in the islands? <laughs> it's a fair. It's a fair, Bruce. But this is actually the end of the video. Um, uh, you're gonna see some falls and nice stuff about Scotland. So stay tuned.
Hold it closely. You can see it. Yeah, I'm coming. Landslide, mate. Natural landslide. I think so. Well, I can climb down that. I can yeah. slide down. Mm, you have big rocks. Be careful. Don't Pitching get close. Kids, what is a yeah, landslide? Down. No, don't get near the the bottom because it's not stable. You see, you should not get close, please. Okay. Thank you for stinking up this video guys As you can see it's the ancient Hi, druid wall And thanks for sticking to the video We are going to explore as always with you go some guy
and Scotland was an amazing place as you can see.
this is indeed a wall. Beautiful out there. Chase the trees. Got a net on it. Got a net on I'm gonna eat it. No. Yeah. No, you'd sting yourself, mate. No, 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 no. Don't. You sting your mouth, mate. You didn't just do that. There we was up in Sterling. Right now I'm in the Netherlands and it was snowy, so I enjoy Netherlands snowy, this is the end of the video.
look at this it's going inside and go back here very well done and that's very ancient piece remarkable remarkable very good place in Omen Your guy, your girl, some guy, always finding archaeology. Amazing forest untouched. I hope you guys enjoyed the video that is the end of it and uh, as much as I hope uh, enjoy doing it uh, Scotland soon uh, America creatures subscribe to the channel share it and a lot of work will be done um, sharing is all you can do to support me at this point um, I do video in English I have a French channel also and um, that is gonna be it for me in La Cache. Thank you for being here. Thanks, special thanks. I wish you uh, the best in these complicated times. And um, in La Cache, guys, pleasure to be with you once again. <laughs>